Binary Stud has a great reputation for picking the right stallion to continue some of the best international bloodlines in the world. And Star Turn has some big shoes to fill. But judging by his first foals this season, his babies will be well and truly up to the job. Adam Star Turn, he's, he's just that beautiful, rich chestnut. He's a, a lovely horse now that he's, you know, had a season under his belt. And of course, the first foals, so many of them are just peas in the pod. They are, you know, with the new horse, you're always a little bit hesitant and not sort of knowing what type of foals you're going to get. But with, with him, we sort of knew what we were going to get. You know, he's a lovely, balanced, muscular horse and a uh, big, strong, powerful horse. And, and that's what he's giving us in the foals. So, you know, we're very pleased to start seeing the first ones hit the ground. Yeah, his sire called Star Witness, he's doing a fabulous job too. And, and you know, you can see so many similarities all the way down through the line, through them and into the foals. That's right. You know, and Star Witness gets quite a, a lot of bays and, and um, Star Turns showing the, the same trait. And of course, Starcraft gets quite a, lot, a few bays too. So, uh, you know, it's, Star Witness is doing a great job, um, his father. So it's um, hopefully he'll continue the line. In the straight, star turn, the three-year-old accelerated quickly. The races he won, I guess as, as time goes on, yeah, Scalacci, San Domenico. In recent years, some really good horses are winning those races. Yeah, that's right. Well, he's a very talented two-year-old to begin with, you know, to win a two-year-old race in October of his juvenile year and then go on to do what he did as a three-year-old against older horses. He was, you know, he was just a very consistent type of sprinter. So um, I think by looking at his foals, he'll get, you know, real early ones as well and and they should go on to be uh, good older sprinters as well. Capitalist can't get there. Kentucky miss out of her pocket, but Star Turn returns as a three-year-old with a cosy win in the San Domenico. They do look early. I mean, some of these foals that we saw here today, um, the Seven Sonnets Philly. So this is a poet's voice mare. She's out of a half-sister to Dubai World Cup winner Monte Rosso, the, the Cornwall Classic winner, Porter Rocker, the third dam of this foal too. And exactly what you're saying, a beautifully put together baby. A great first foal for this mare. You know, we bought this mare off the track uh, to go to this horse particularly because uh, it's, a, it's a great international pedigree. As you've said, there's a, a Dubai World Cup winner and it's you know, a real Australian pedigree as well. Uh, and of course, a granddaughter of Dubawi, <coughs> excuse me. So no, we're very happy with the first foal and you know, I think it'll get up and run early. And disseminate this filly, well, the dams are a Redoute's choice, three quarter sister to Wanton and a half to Shrapnel. So again, a fabulous Australian family, Redoute's choice in there too, which is just beautiful as a broodmare sire. Um, you know, big mare, but it's a lovely, neat sort of foal. It is, you know, she's done a, a terrific job this mare again. Uh, this is a, actually a second foal, uh, but a, another wonderful pedigree and another speed pedigree. Uh, and, you know, this is a, a real forward type of foal. I'd, I'd say it's sort of going to be a, a real magic millions type of yearling when we take it to the sales. And, you know, I'd expect it to be running early as a two-year-old. The single style, she's had the trial winner recently as well, but she's a beautiful mare. She was a Keith Mackay stakes winner by not a single doubt. Just a lovely mare. And, and you know, when they were all led off, she was the one leading the herd too. And the foal was, was right out there in front. She's a lovely mare, this mare, you know, not a single doubt. Stakes winning two-year-old herself. So... Um, these were the type of mares that he did get in his first uh, crop. A lot of these early sharp sort of two-year-old mares and of course him being a two-year-old, you know, so he's a big chance of getting, you know, starting his stud career off with a bang when, when they hit the track. So you know, she's a lovely mare and as you said, she's had a, a nice trial two-year-old winner uh, just recently with Chris Waller and, you know, she should be in the early two-year-old races. So um, no, very happy with this, this foal as well. And the filly from Sanea too, you know, she's by more than ready. So your great stallion here, it's fantastic to see, you know, sire of two golden slipper winners again, a daughter of more than ready going to star turn. Yeah, another mare with a, a real speed pedigree, obviously a daughter of more than ready who's doing a terrific job as a broodmare sire and, and even has stakes winners, you know, by star witness. So the cross already works. So we're, we're very pleased about that. Um, another pedigree full of black types. So... Um, again, a first foal, and you can see the size and the strength and the quality of this foal, uh, first up from a mare like this. So, 
you know, you can go to him with a, a young maiden mare with a lot of confidence and get a nice strong foal, which, which definitely helps when you take him to the sales. Who's mainly sending mares? I mean, it, it is hard, you know, we see so many of these stallions that are owned by syndicates and they all get together and they, you know, this person sends 10 mares, another one sends 20. Sends 20. It's, it's a lot harder when they're, they're not owned by a syndicate, but he's still getting good support. That's right, you know, he's, well, we've supported him very well, as has Alan Bell, who of course raced him. Uh, but he did get a lot of support in his first year covering 160 mares and you know I think the quality of horse that he is um, and he was an expensive yearling himself and I think that's a good sign for, for breeders you know they like to breed to those horses that made a lot of money as, as yearlings themselves uh, and he was a speed two-year-old so he is what breeders want in this country and uh, that's why he got the support from a, a wide group of breeders so so that support was there the first year. It looks like it's going to be there the second year now that his, his nice foals are hitting the ground. So he's got a big future. The foals that we've seen today, are they um, likely to be sold as yearlings? Like you'd, you'd sort of hang on to them. I mean, they are that much, there's that much quality about them, I guess. You wouldn't be wanting to rush them to the weanling sales necessarily. But they are pretty much for sale. Is that the plan? Yeah, that's right. Now, we do like to take uh, two or three weanlings to the sales and show them off a bit and make sure the support's there and, and really help promote the horse in what sort of foals that he's, he's giving. And We've got enough stock of our own that we, you know, we can sell a few as weanlings for that reason. Uh, but the majority will go to the yearling sales, starting off with Magic Millions and then Sydney Classic and, and all the sales around the country. So majority will go to the sales, definitely. And I guess it's important for people to see this stallion again too and just remind people of just how, how magnificent he is and, and again, of course, the foals too. And, you know, it's not too late in the season, is it? To, there's so many mares that might not get in foal or, or there are, you know, people that suddenly go, oh, maybe that's a better option and, and they can change around, you know, as we're coming to sort of the, the middle middle part of the season. Oh, definitely. Understand you know there's a lot of stallions out there covering a lot of mares and you know some spots don't become available and then people like to change just to get the mare covered and that's the great thing about star turn is that his fertility is exceptional so you know when he does cover them he's a big chance of getting them in foal so um, he's a horse that will continue to pick them up during the season um, you know when when other horses aren't perhaps stopping them or, or they're missing spots so yeah no he's, he's in for another good season